Hello, 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 wherever you are on this engaging planet called Earth, I hope you are having a wonderful day, evening, or night, wherever you are located. My topic for the day, I'm going to talk about an electrical thermostat that I just installed last week. So I've had it for a week. It's called the Honeywell RTH7600. Now before I go on, I must apologize ladies and gentlemen. Because I did not make a live uh, video of my installation process. And here is the simple reason why I did not record it while I was installing the device because I'm not a, a bona fide HVAC uh, worker or installer. So when my wife and I was installing the artifact, we was using trial and error. I had to read the manual and like you to get a quick knowledge base. I looked at some YouTube videos, but first I read the manual. And the manual basically told me everything I needed to know in that YouTube video. So, here we go. Honeywell RTH7600. In my one week of using it, I find it as an engaging, delightful device. Unfortunately, my prior device, which you're now seeing, uh, expired several weeks ago. So, I had to go to the store and get a new one. Hey, that's life. So, the Honeywell RTH6000. Now, in my house, I just have a heating unit. That's all I have a heating unit. But, the most important thing, my good listener, before you even dare think of installing this unique device, which costs a little bit less than 100 I think it cost me like... Close to a hundred dollars. I was thinking about getting a cheaper brand, but I said, "Hey, let me go for the best brand because it may have me. It may give me more for my buck, which it has." But before you even think of installing this device, do what I do, ladies and gentlemen, and turn off your power. And so many of the YouTube videos that I've watched, I rarely hear the person say, "Turn off the power," because this still is an electrical device, and you are actually. Handling the cords in your hand. So make sure you turn up the power before you do anything else. Do anything. Turn up that power. Now, in my house, I don't have uh, a cooling system. So for me, I only had uh, the two wires. I had the white wire and the red wire. Now, when, we, when my wife and I first installed it, I thought it was working. So I turned it on to about 75 degrees and we took a little trip to go to the store and we came back. The temperature in the house was still reading the same. So we did not start it right. But after reading and looking at the videos on YouTube and reading the book, I discovered if you got... Now, I only can talk about the two-wire system. The two-wire system, as you will see in my little uh, um, presentation, the two-wire system only have two colored wires. The white wire, which should be installed in the white slot on the, uh, the device. And it has, I believe, a red wire or a black wire. The red wire, or, or basically no, you should have a white wire and a colored wire. The color don't even matter yet. The, the color don't even matter, matter. If you have a two system device, you're going to have two colors. One is white. And the other is non-white. So what I discovered when I got everything settled and I was correctly, I discovered when I hooked up my device, the red for my house, RC, that was the correct installation for me. So again, the red wire or the colored wire, when I started to the RC, or R, whichever you prefer, that will make it work. And of course, as you see in this demonstration slot, 
there is a white slot and I put it directly into the white slot. After we put the device back onto the wall and we had everything in a proper uh in a proper switch location, it was working like a charm. So before I leave this video, I just want to say good people. You got on on the device it got the colors R C R W Y G C Y two and W two. Whatever color you have, if you have a cooling system, then I'm, I'm sure you have more wires than I have. The color, whatever color your wire is, it should go into the particular slot in your device. Now, before you even think of installing it, I suggest you go to the um, your local eye store and buy a little kit for fixing your glasses. Because the only way you can dare do those screws on here, you have to have screws that go with our eyeglass repair kit. If you don't have that little um, screw to go for eyeglass repair kit, you will never get this thing to work. And you can't use a knife. You can't use a screw, a typical screwdriver. Because the screws in this device, they are very tiny. So the, that's the important thing before I, I end this video. One, turn off the power. Two, go to your eye vendor and get the screws needed to repair eyeglasses. If you do those two things, turn off the power, get the screws that repair eyeglasses. And if you have a heating system like I do, white goes into the black insert, red goes into the red insert, your device should be humming and warming your house soon. Thank you for stopping by. If you like my little discussion, please give me a thumbs up. If you have anything to add about your installation process of this device please leave a comment subscribe to hear about any future content that i find appealing to me in this case talking about my brand new honeywell rt87600 was appealing to me thank you for stopping by and i hope you all have a wonderful day peace